Good day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Prime Secretary of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting and the Mint Condition. Columbia Record, she's got a chip out of it, I didn't notice that. Um, Columbia Record, FB1117, Horses for Courses, Parts 1 and 2. Humorous Sketch, don't run all, all run at once, by Clapham and Dwyer. Here we go, we'll turn over halfway through, it's in macro condition, despite the tiny edge chip. Here we go. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Oh, yes. Uh, ah, now, uh, I want uh, two and nine pence to win each way. Uh, any to come, uh, put it all on the winner uh, on, uh, in the 330 of Crosbyville. Uh, is it running, you know? Wait a minute. What do you want? Who are you? Uh, yes. Are you the, uh, are you the bookmarker? The, the what? Uh, the book... Uh, no, the... no, I'm Dwyer. I've been trying to get through to you. Oh, oh yes. Is that you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, listen, you're just in time. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll have a small scotch with a dash of coffee. Oh, no, you won't. You're just in time to hear something about the most domestic of animals. Oh, you're always talking about women, you are. No, no. This is a short talk on the horse. Oh, yes. What do you know about a horse? Sure. Short walk on a horse. Is it? We don't short talk on a horse. Oh, yes. Tell me, what do you know about a horse? Oh, I know a lot. Uh, I know a lot. Of, uh, well, I know. I know two things. Do you? What are they? Yeah, I know the white horse of Eaton Southern and the black horse at uh, Con uh, Yes, Jesus. you would. Yes. Now let us take the points of a horse. Yeah, well, I'll take a part with anybody, even a horse. No, no points. Point. Oh yeah. Perhaps we'd better deal first with the types. Yes. Yeah, I'd touch of bronchitis. Then. No, no, no. Types, I said, not pipes. Oh, I'm about sorry. First, there's the hunter, yes. then the carriage, and the shire, and so on. Oh, is it really? Oh, I wouldn't know one if I saw one. What? The uh, carriage shunter or, or so oh, on. Shut up, just a moment, please. Oh. And then last but not least, the racehorse. Ah, I know that one. Oh, yeah, oh, that's the one I'd back. That, that, that last and not least. And now, when buying a horse, see that it is sound in wind and limb. Yes, uh, she's got what? Sound in wind and limb. Oh, yeah, no snoring or crackling at the knees. No, no. No. You know how to tell the age of a horse? Yeah, oh, me? Yes. Yes, well, uh, of course, you could ask them, but they're such liars, you know. I, I had a chip at Ascot once, straight from the horse's mouth, but he, he was lying as well. He, he, you know, he came in so far behind the others, he won the next race. <laughs> oh, bad luck. <laughs> yeah. No, you tell a horse's age by his teeth. Yeah, do, do, do you really? Yes. What, uh, the way he stands, you mean? No, no, the length of them. Oh, uh, but uh, he might be wearing shoes too big for him. No, no, his teeth, not his feet. Oh. And always judge a horse by his manners. Yes. See that you get a well-behaved horse. Yeah, what, uh, am I going to do that? Yes. Oh. Short of handsome is his handsome cabot. Not right. quite, no. No. And avoid horses addicted to vice. Oh, yeah, you won't do that. It uh, makes him a bit catty, you know. Catty? No, vice, not mice. Oh, my, oh yeah. Horses with vice do awful things. Go on. Do they really? Yes. Oh. They, they wouldn't go so far as crooning, would they? They're well, not quite as bad as that, no. Yeah. But they do eat their bedding, and they might kick their mare. Yeah. Did they do what? I say they eat their bedding and they might kick their mare. Might they really? Yeah. Oh, well, of course, that's the mare's own fault for being in the same bed, isn't it? No, not that mare, you idiot. The mare horse. Oh, the, the horse's fiancé. Another thing they do is to start cow kicking. Oh, they don't. Yes, they do. Go on. Mm. Well, would you? But, well, I don't. Fancy. Well, can't she, can't she have having a sleep with a horse, eh? No, they don't kick cows. They kick like them. Oh, funny way of showing how they like them. It's funny, isn't it? By the way, do you know anything about backing horses? Yeah, yeah. Do, do I what? Do you know anything about backing horses? Oh, do I not? Do, do, uh, well, well, would you listen to that? Yeah, can, can you see? You can't see this diamond typing, can you? What? Diamond mm. typing? I didn't know you had one. Yes, I've got one. Stick on the sh it's on the front. On the, have you seen it? No. Oh, it's got a lovely... I've got that backing horses. Did you really? Yes, I, I, I backed a couple of them right to a jeweler's window. <laughs> I've got this coming out. The, uh, oh, you can't lend me tuppence, can you? Tuppence? How can I lend you tuppence? I've got to shove another tuppence in the, in the watch name. Uh, I'll borrow it. I'll, I'll ring you up about it, Percy. All right. Nice. That's right. Now, uh, are you still on the other end, sir? Yes, yes, I'm here. Oh, what was, uh, what was that you were saying about backing horses? Well, I mean, do you ever go in for punting? Yeah, oh, yes, I should think so. I took a piece, a very nice light, uh, and I took it up to Bolter's Lock about uh, three Sundays ago. No, no, punting on horses, I mean. Oh, don't be silly, you can't do that. But, but who, who owns a punt pole? You or a horse? No, don't you understand? Punting is backing horses with money, you idiot. Oh, yes, oh, I do that. Because well, I haven't got the proper knack yet, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're not the only one. No. You should try backing on a system. Yes. On a what? On a system. Yes. When you get flush, you stop, I suppose. <laughs> 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 that's very good, yes. Very funny, that. You want to bet on the course or get on the tape? Yeah. Get on the what? 
On the teeth. What, that thing that ticked out of the glass bowl? That's it. Why, you couldn't get on that. It's not wide enough. No, I don't mean get on it, you fool. Study it and watch the betting. Oh, yes. Now, supposing there is a horse which is, say, 10 to 1 in the 2.30 in the morning. Yes. And you see it on the tape at 6 to 4. Yes. Now, that's obviously a horse to consider. Of course. Have you got that? Yeah, well, I got that, yes. Uh, what did I say? Yeah. Eh? Hey? Oh, yes. What did you say, yes? You, oh, yes, I know. You said that if you see a horse at 10 minutes to 1 in the morning, and again at about 6 minutes to 4, you, you want to consider you've got that tape, you see? Oh, help. If it's quoted at 10s in the morning, and it's 6 to 4 at 2.25, what does that tell you? It tells me it's about time you bought another watch, I think. Now then, supposing you're on the course, and a horse opens at 10s. Yes. Opens what? Opens in the betting. Oh, yes. And in 10 minutes' time, it's 6 to 4. Yes. It's obvious they have come for it, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Well, who's come for it? The punters. Well, what do they want it for? Then? Because they fancy it. Well, they don't. Well, they, they can't all have it. But who, who gets it? I don't mean they've come to fetch it. They've come for it with the money to back it. Yeah. I mean, it's probably on the job. Is it? Yes. What, pop it up now? No, no, job, not Bob. Oh. It's probably come through on the blower. What, is it? Yes. Well, on the blower? Hmm. Oh, it's a blower horse, is it? Yeah, well, supposing the bookies blow as well. How, how do we stand then? <laughs> Look here, have you ever been to a race course? Who, me? Yes. Yes, one. Well, what happened? Well, it's a short story. I'll, I'll make it as long as I can. Uh, you see, I met a bloke there who, who said he knew the Arca Khan, you see. Well, I knew him personally? Well, not exactly personally, but he must have known him because he described him to me, you see. He said he was a dark brown gentleman with sunglasses and a big tit back. Mm -hmm. And he said that the Arca Khan, uh, the Arca Arca Khan, Khan had told him that his horse was crying. See, what the, what the hell he was crying about, I don't know. No, he probably said he was trying. Yeah, well, that'll be it, yes. And he said, now, you follow me and you'll make a packet, you will. See, he didn't say a packet of what, he just said a packet. Mm -hmm. Well, I followed him. What, all day? All day, yeah, that and the next day. <laughs> I got the packet on the third day. Go off the book, as I suppose. No, off my friend and his two friends. <laughs> <laughs> they paid up, did they? No, I paid up. I don't quite follow. Well, you see, they said, what about parking some of the winnings, you see? And I said, well, I've only got what I came with. And then the two gentlemen with their spaddingers here. No, the cauliflowers. Yeah, the cauliflowers. Yeah, they said, well, go on, give him a packet and take what he's got, see? So I got the packet. <laughs> yeah. Right, right in the ear, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Are you going again? Yeah, oh, me? Yes. Yeah, I might. But I, I, I think I'll take your advice next time and go on a system. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, talking about making money. Did you, you hear about the two fleas who came into 50 pounds? Two fleas did what? It came, it came into 50 pounds. Well, no, what did they do with it? Yeah, eh? What did they do with it? They bought an Alsatian. <laughs> oh, dear. Goodbye. Yeah. Shut up. So long. See you later. Well, there we are, viewers. Not quite sure what to make of it, but no doubt some of you found that. Um, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.